Hi, I'm George Pearson, and these are just a few examples from some of the training videos I have here on YouTube. Now, when you're working with the training, following along the training, if you want to get the materials I used in the training, just go to the description down below and click on the link that's at the top of the description, and this will take you to a page where you can download the materials. Please subscribe, click the like button, and of course, always share on Facebook, Twitter, or wherever. I really appreciate that. Okay, let's go ahead and get started with the video. This is a quick video to answer one of the most common questions that I get here, and that is how do I have these floating windows here inside of Photoshop Elements? Now, first off, the reason why you want floating windows is it makes it very easy to do a few things. For instance, if I wanted to copy a layer from one image to another, if I have it floating, I can just grab this layer and drag it over here and drop it on that one, just like that. Now I have two layers over there. You can, see I can go ahead and do that. So it's real easy to do tricks like that with floating windows. Something else you can do is if you want to pull a gradient, sometimes it's easier to pull a gradient from outside to outside, like that, you know, clear across or clear across diagonally, instead of pulling it within the image. So with a floating window, you can get some space around your image like this still inside the window. Okay, let me show you how this is done. It's real easy. And I'll set this back the way it normally is. I'll just dock those. There we go. So normally you'd have something like this. You'd have a couple of images open like that, two tabs for those images. Now to make these into floating windows, there's just two things you have to do. The first one is you have to go up here to Edit and preferences and general. Now I'm showing this in Photoshop Elements 15, but these instructions apply to all versions of Photoshop Elements. Okay, general tab, so it's preferences in general, and right on the general tab, right down here, there are two check boxes. Allow floating documents in expert mode and enable floating document window docking. These are normally unchecked by default like that, so just go ahead and check both of those, and then click the OK button, and now you can do floating windows. To actually use a floating window, just grab the title bar up here for the window, pull it away like that, and it snaps into a floating window. Notice how you can have a floating window and a docked window. They don't have to be all floating or all docked. Let's just float this one, grab the name bar up there, pull it down, and it snaps into floating mode. To put it back into docked mode, just take the title bar area right there, drag it up, and you'll see how it kind of fades out. When it fades out like that, just let go, and it goes back into docked mode. Pull it up, and there we go. Now, I'll normally be working with my images in floating mode, just because it's, it's very easy to use it this way. I can, as I said, I can open that window up. I can zoom in, zoom out. I can copy between two windows very easily. I can put it where I want to. It just makes it more convenient to work inside of the program. Sometimes, though, it's important for me to have easy access to all of my tool options down below here, and I don't want to block anything across the top either. In that case, I'll put it back into docked mode. So it's just sitting in this little docked area, and I then have full access to my tool options, full access to my menus, all that kind of stuff. So I'll go back and forth as I'm working, depending upon what I need to do. But most of the time, I will have my windows floating just like that. Let me just float both of those again. There we go. So there it is. That's how you can get these floating windows inside Photoshop Elements. So real fast recap, Edit, Preferences General, make sure those are checked, Floating Documents and Floating Document Window Docking. Make sure those two are checked, choose OK, and then pull it up to dock it, pull it down to float it. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you found it useful. If you like this video, Click on the like button below to let others know. You can click the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my videos in the future. I'm frequently uploading new training videos. Don't forget to check out my website at howtogurus.com. You can share this video with your friends and coworkers. Just click on share and then click on the social media buttons. Feel free to comment on my videos. I try to answer all comments as quickly as I can.